What's up everyone, you are watching TechSrect and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run real RPCS3 emulator onto your Android device. Yes guys, you heard it correct, but there is a twist. Rather than emulating RPCS3 onto an Android device, what we are going to do is basically stream it. Yes, it is 100% possible and I'm going to show you in this video how you can do that. So if you guys are new here, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and turn on that bell icon. So without further ado, first things first. The requirements that you would be needing for this tutorial is just a stable internet connection. Probably a 5G internet connection would be enough or a Wi-Fi connection is more than enough. So just open Play Store and search for games. So many of you might be aware of this. Basically this app let us uh, stream games onto an Android device including PC games, PS4 as well as PS5. And also in this video I'm going to show you how you can run RPCS3 with this uh, cloud gaming service. So let me just hit upon install and as you can see it is just 37 uh, megabyte in size which is really less and has 1 million plus downloads. This makes this app trustworthy. So once the app has installed I'm just uh, going to simply click upon open and you are also going to see a screen similar to this. So now when you see privacy policy just hit upon agree and the next thing that we are going to do is click upon these three lines in the left top corner and then uh, click upon this sign in and then sign in email now if you guys don't have an account what you have to do is just click upon sign up and after that you have to uh, clear the i'm not a robot after just write your email and then click upon send and your account will be created so i already have an account what i'm going to do is just simply log in as you can see now we have successfully logged in let me just go to my account so as you can see this is my account here you will see something like this and if you go to this uh, discover option here are all the game servers that are available for rent, uh, renting so let me just give you a brief introduction to this interface this app uh, this cloud gaming service has like pc servers this one is probably a pc one this one is a ps4 and here we can also see ps5 servers this is really great what uh, uh, what this uh, uh, service does is just it basically connect uh, uh, the guys who want to stream their PC for some amount of money who want to play their favorite games through streaming service So the next thing that we are going to do you can see like there are many servers But the specific server that we need for this you can see this one is Nexus Gaming 01 So don't get confused. So here as you can see that it as you can see that it will be available in four minutes But we have to do is just uh, simply click upon it and here it will show the interface as you can see there is GTA 5 as well WWE 2K 23 for uh, Froza Horizon and five some very famous titles and here is our uh, emulator ps3 emulator so what we have to do once the queue is over just hit upon rent uh, and if uh, there is a queue you are going to see a message sim uh, similar to this the console is renting to others please try later so uh, what we can do is just click upon rent and then hit rent anyway and here you, you are going to see the basic info about this server and it also says that 0.5 hour that means 30 minutes for just 0.28 dollars so what we are going to do is like i have now currently 193 and it is going to uh, need at least above 2 280 credits as you can see it is written here it needs 280 plus credits to play for half an hour so what so what i'm going to do is just click upon rent and it is uh, going to say confirm to rent i'll just hit upon yes but i have not enough credit so i'll just hit upon confirm and we are here upon this page what you can do is just basically buy some credits or you can earn one credit by watching ads basically you would have to watch 280 ads for just half an hour of gameplay i would not recommend you this and also the credits in this game are really cheap like you can buy a thousand credits for just around one dollar so as you can see i'm going to buy this all right guys so once our console has been successfully rented i'm just going to click upon confirm and then we're going to see something like connecting so all right guys now we have been connected and we can just click tap upon any of the apps but for this video our main attention is ps3 emulator that is rpcs3 i'll just hit upon it all right so i'll just hit upon yes maybe i started a different session in the same server so it is going to say establishing connection and just after a few seconds it will start so it is saying successfully quit cricket 24 so maybe the previous guy was playing cricket 20 cricket 24 upon it and that's why it showed this so anyways guys this is our so as you can see guys our game has now finally started now let me just go to settings and see if we can make some adjustments so for video resolution i'll just keep it to auto 
and video frame rate depending upon your networks uh, set it to whatever you like 60 fps 30 fps but i'm going to keep it at 30 and also turn on stretch video to full screen this will keep the video in full screen basically common sense